Hi, welcome to a Norris Medical Library online tutorial. My name is Amy Chatfield. I'm a librarian at the Norris Medical Library. This narrated PowerPoint is about five minutes long. It will cover searching PubMed and saving citations, exporting citations from PubMed, and importing citations into EndNote Online. To follow this tutorial, you should already have an EndNote Online account. If you don't, check out part two of this tutorial. First, we'll search PubMed at USC. Start at the Norris Medical Library homepage. In the red Popular Resources box, find a link to PubMed at USC and click this link. Once inside PubMed at USC, search for your topic. I'm going to type Exercise and Asthma. Now I'll click Search. Now I am seeing search results. I'll select the papers I want to cite by checking the box above the citation number. You can select citations, then go to the next page of results and continue to select additional citations. PubMed will remember the citations that you marked. Next, click Send To and select Clipboard. Then click Add to Clipboard. This will add your selected citations to your clipboard. You will know this has happened because a clipboard icon will appear in the top right-hand corner of the page. You can always continue searching and adding citations to your clipboard. I'm going to move on to the next step in this tutorial. Once you've gathered all the citations you wish, click on the clipboard icon on the top right-hand side of the PubMed search screen to view your clipboard. Click Send To and select Citation Manager. Click Create File. A file will download onto your computer containing the citations. Now log in to your EndNote Online account. Start at the Norris Library homepage. Look for the red Popular Resources box. At the bottom of this box, find a link to Web of Science. Click on this link. If you're on campus, you'll immediately see the Web of Science search page that looks like this. If you're off campus, you'll log in with your USC Net ID and password, then be taken to this Web of Science search page. Look for and click the word EndNote at the top of the Web of the Science search page to generate the pop-up window to log in to EndNote online. Enter your email address and password and click Sign In. In EndNote online, click Collect. Then, Import References. Click Choose File to open a window showing all files on your computer. Select the file you downloaded from PubMed and click Open. Now your citation file is waiting to be uploaded, but you need to do a few more things to make sure EndNote understands this file. Import option means name the database from which these citations were downloaded. Click Select Favorites to see all the databases from which you can import data. Scroll down, using the scroll bar, to find PubMed. Select PubMed and click Copy to My Favorites. This will transfer this import option into your Favorites file. Click Hide to close this window. Use the pull-down menu next to Import Options to select the favorite you just added. The To pull-down menu lets you place these citations into your Unfiled Citations group or to create a new group. Once you have created groups in EndNote Online, you'll see all your group names in this pull-down menu as well. Select your preferred place to store these citations. I am going to pick a file. Now I will click Import. Your citations are now uploaded. EndNote will display a message telling you this, but I like to verify it too. Click on My References. 
you'll see a pane showing all of your citations. I put my citations into the Unfiled group. So I will click Unfiled to see all of the citations that I just added. That is a lot of work, I agree with you. However, these steps of searching, saving citations in your database, exporting those citations and saving them onto your computer, going into EndNote, selecting the saved file and the correct database import filter, and clicking import, can be used to get citations from over 500 other databases and library catalogs into EndNote Online. I know this is hard to do the first time, but it gets easier as you practice. What do you do now? Well, our next tutorials in this series cover adding citations from Web of Science and Google Scholar. If you only need citations from PubMed, skip to tutorial 6 or 7 to learn to use Cite While You Write on a Macintosh or Windows computer.